it's currently 9 a.m. right now. We're at Gatwick Airport and we are flying out in the next couple hours. The thing is, Faisal has absolutely no idea where we're going. He's got Zero. no clue. Nothing. If you remember from the last video, I won the race, so I got to choose the destination we were going and I also got to experience a good holiday. But we gave Faisal a chance at redemption and he redeemed himself. I took it. So we swapped. So now I'm having the bad experience and he's gonna have the good holiday. Faisal, you have no idea where we're going. Like no clue. Genuinely. No I guesses. was so tempted last night to look it up. Right now we're in London. It's like minus two degrees. Degrees, it's freezing. I don't know if you can see I'm shaking. So ideally we'll go somewhere a bit warmer, yeah. a bit hotter. So do you want to guess? I, okay. I don't know. I don't know what's warm in general. All right. Well, he's not getting warmer to the answer at all. We are going somewhere in North Africa. What? Where? Any guesses? Andrew? No, no, no. North Africa. Yeah, North Africa. Think the other side that we Egypt. haven't been. To. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to Egypt. We're going there, but we've left everything to the producers, so we don't know what to expect. We're gonna go back inside because it's freezing right now, and I'm trying to get on a flight to Egypt. Damn, I had no idea, bro. Okay. <laughs> I told this guy. We're good to let me off. Hello, guys, it's Future Editing Amazon here. Apologies for the interruption. I'm just going through this video. I'm realizing that this is a bit of a slower video, you know, it's a bit of a slow burner. So I just want you to you know, get comfortable, get some snacks. I don't know what time it is for you if it's iftar yet, but if you're still fasting, of course, you can still snack. You can breathe some air. There's a couple parts to this video. In the first part, we're just getting to our hotels. We're giving tours of our hotels and then we're going out and we're getting dinner. And then in the second part, we just go out, get some activities done, get some food and then meet back. Yeah, that's basically it. Because I don't want to say everything we did because then this is going to turn into an audiobook. And this is, video is not sponsored by the Amazon Kindle. Hope you enjoy this. Don't forget to like the video. If you hate it, then of course you go smash that dislike button. But yeah, hope you enjoy. That's enough from me. Go back to the previous Amazon now. Bye. Cool. As you can see, we've reached Egypt. I don't know how obvious it is, but this is the Egyptian airport. I can't lie. We're gonna have to make this short and sweet because apparently we've been told that the police are looking at us and we shouldn't be like filming around this area. I'm not trying to get mummified, so we're gonna cut to the chase. What's happening now is that Faisal, since he's going good holiday, yes, he's actually got a chauffeur waiting for him. Is that car over there? Me on the other hand, we're gonna try find a taxi. Hopefully find that as quickly as possible. Don't get bumped. You're gonna make your way to your five star hotel, and I'm gonna make my way to my. I don't even know if it's a one star hotel. I don't think it had a star. It was nothing. It was just a nothing hotel. Fifty percent chance you'll get kidnapped or die. I had the breakfast buffet is cockroaches. I had my breakfast buffet is cross. Coffee. Okay, cool. I'll see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Enjoy your night, enjoy your day, and have fun you. in Egypt. You too. Oh, are you gonna miss me? Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. I'm gonna miss you too. Bye. Salam alaikum. Oh, no, no. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Shukran. He's got purple LEDs, bro. Should I just get in with them? Guys, you got space? No, I'm joking. I'm not coming. I'm not allowed. They didn't let me. They said I have to get a taxi. What's up? Do you want to swap? <laughs> I saw the LED lights, there's no way I'm swapping bro. <laughs> get out of here. Have, have get fun. Out of here. <laughs> See you later guys, take care. My yeah, Egyptian yeah, isn't the best. I don't want to get cooked know. here for my poor Egyptian. Oh, so no, I'm just going to keep it strictly English. Sorry for the wait. Alright, now it's time for us to get a taxi. And um, I don't actually know what the address is. And I don't know if I'm going to get bumped or not. I think we've just arrived. Turning right into White Hills, Tower Avenue. Got the whole crew here. White Hills. Alright, on our way to the taxi now. Not only am I having a dead experience, but I'm also getting bumped whilst doing it. Oh wow, isn't this very nice? What the hell? Do you have to wear a seatbelt here or is it okay? White people means it's good. Okay, concierge. Okay, I feel a bit self-conscious about filming now. Let's step out. Wow. Good evening. Welcome home. Good evening. I said welcome home. That means now my home. I'm not leaving. That's how sure they are that it's gonna blow my mind. Look at the water. Outdoor swimming pool. Got palm trees in case you wanna pick. Pick dates, something for everyone here. Should be here. I must be say boss. So I paid this driver 20 pounds for a 15 minute journey and at this moment I still hadn't realized that we were in the completely wrong location. So good, bro. There's too many people. <laughs> look, we've been offered very generously some drinks and refreshments. I can't lie, this place doesn't look too bad. Part of me is thinking that we've gone to the wrong place because it doesn't look that bad. We have electricity, that's that's a plus. Salam alaikum. Wayne Heather McCann Chris Resort. Where? It should be here, somewhere here. Chris, Chris, Chris. Chris. Far away. What? Chris. Oh my Bro, we're not in the right place. Oh, okay, man. Can I get a uh, mango, please? Wow, I feel spoiled right now. We're just not in the right place. We went the opposite direction. Bro, we were here. That was the airport. We drove all the way there. We were meant to go the opposite direction. Okay, spend 20 pounds, take an Uber in the wrong direction. And you know what's even more annoying? The location we were actually supposed to was closer to the airport than this. So now we need to do that whole journey again. I knew there was something wrong. Remember what I said we were in the taxi? Part of me is thinking that we've gone to the wrong place because it doesn't look that bad. Shukran, I'm off. Taste there. Cut out. Oh, that is real mango. It just tastes like mango and liquid. That is great. Oh my god. Already five side prints. We need to find another taxi and try not to get bumped. Yes, taxi? Yes. Going in for 15. 35 pounds, all just gone. This is cash loss, man. Just to get taxis to the wrong place. <laughs> we're driving for like another 15, 20 minutes. We're back at a flipping airport. Alright, looks like we're reaching our location. You see, as, as we started getting into here, it started getting a bit darker. Like, where's all the lights gone? Then they turn off the light because they know this is the beginning of a dark time. 
He's just bringing out the golf shuttle. We can travel from here to our room in ultra comfort. I'm Zian, if you're watching this, have fun in your shanty village. Your little sand, crusty, flipping mattress, broken air conditioner. Finally flipping over here. Oh, there he is. Oh my days, this is the life, man. I wish I could live every day like this. Getting driven around in a golf cart. Man, we've been bopping for a minute now. Oh, there's a pool. At least there's a pool. Bro, seeing Mickey Mouse at the bottom of the pool at night, it's just scary, bro. Look at the rooms, bro. Wow. It's like a, like a bougie council estate. White city council estate, if it was actually true to its name. Okay. Let me not talk too much. Oh, we have neighbours. Got a few neighbours here. All right, this is our apartment. Oh, look at it. Oh, Roller coaster. <laughs> I want to do this every day. All right, that's it. We're off. Look at the rest of the estate. Stairs going up to the swimming pool, I believe. And if you look, my neighbours over here, lovely people. We got George, and we got Ahmed ibn Nawaqif. So a lot of diversity if you're into that sort of stuff. Oh, look at it. Okay, okay. Thank you, brother. Okay. Have yes, a good night. Fine. Take care. Yes, Double fine. handshake. Okay, <laughs> hospitality. <laughs> All right, take care, man. Now for the inside. Come on, follow me, guys. Welcome to the crib. Extra security. Don't want any scary people coming in at night. Toilet, it's looking amazing. I can spend a few hours in here. Classic hygiene band. Why am I touching that? Why am I touching the toilet seat? Okay, so first we've got electricity hazard here. So what happens if I get electrocuted and then they mummify me? This doesn't do anything. It's just there as an electric hazard. Okay, so why? Why is the floor wet? The floor is just drenched. What's this doing here? What is this doing here? Bro, what is this? Do you want to smell it? How did that smell? Oh man! When this switches to Amazon's toilet POV, it's gonna be a hole in the ground. You're not gonna have this. You're not gonna have this. You're not gonna have this. You're gonna be sitting and squatting over a hole in the ground. But I can't shower in this. I wanted to. Sh I was excited to get back, have a nice warm shower. What the flip is this? Shower? Wow! They took shower curtain too seriously. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, let me not spoil myself. That's next. That's next. This is the shower. As you're showering, you're cleaning yourself, and the only thing you have in front of you as the view is the flipping toilet bowl. Conditioner, shampoo, shower gel, fresh scrub. I'm living a dream, mate. You've got two shower heads as well. You got a phone over here, just in case you got like crazy diarrhea. Another big phone. I don't even want to touch it because that looks like it has skid marks. The toilet paper machine looks like it has skid marks on it. Hopefully the beds are not that bad. Massive friggin' mirror here. If you both want to wash hands at the same time, can watch each other and wash hands at the same time. Can we talk about this furniture? Let me even test the comfort of this. You know what? It's not bad. And then this is the sofa bed. Right now it's currently just a sofa. I don't know who, who's sleeping here. I'm not. <laughs> Let's see this bed. Listen to this. You know when you get a new TV, it comes in like the protective packaging. That's what the bed feels like. We've got another big mirror and scales. Just in case you feel a bit fat after your big breakfast, you can weigh yourself. It's confirmed. Look at this. That is a dehydrated pillow. <gasps> Oh, at least they have some nice artwork there. But uh, a clean pillow for you to sleep on, to put your face on and your head on. No, no, no. Oh, balcony. You are having a laugh if you think I, if you don't think I'm going down there. I'm going down there. Let's see the view outside. Oh, there's a balcony. All right, guys, calm down. So what is this supposed to do? Nothing. Tonight. I don't care if it's one degrees. I'm going down there and I'm having a swim. Do you know why? Because I can. The balcony's not too bad. We've got a view of the pool with the flipping scary Mickey Mouse thing. Oh my word. I just want to take it in. I can't see properly, but I can just tell that it's a beautiful friggin' view. I can't wait to see it in the morning. I'm about to have the time of my life. I don't even want to finish the tour. The kitchen. I don't really care about the kitchen. I'm not going to cook. Look, why do we have this in here, though? Why is that there? Okay, let's move on to the bedroom now. I wonder how he's getting on. I wonder if he's satisfied with his spot. I know he's not. <laughs> Alright, so these pillows seem a bit calmer. Seem a bit okay. No, they don't. I'm not putting my face on that. I'm getting a shirt and I'm using that as a pillowcase. Back in, back in. From here, switch it to the dead spot now. What's happening with this wardrobe then? One of the doors work. The other one just doesn't. This is what Narnia would look like if they went bankrupt. Let's move on to the main event. The room. Uh, oh my days. Who didn't tell me that there was a jacuzzi in the room? What is that about? <laughs> Guys, that is my evening, morning, afternoon sorted for as long as I'm here. Oh my word. Let's actually have a look. And then, oh look, they give us complimentary sweets as well. Okay, wrong one. Which one is it? This one? No. Wait. Chat. There you go. I just kickstarted a jacuzzi in my own room. This is jacu this is my jacuzzi. It's for me. I know it's got two headrests, but it's one person can use it. And that's me. Three mosquitoes. I've already seen three mosquitoes in this room, and it smells damp. All right. Whilst that's filling up, move on to the main main event. Firstly, wait. Look at these lights. I feel like I'm about to do a photo shoot. Why is there a stain here, man? They did not clean. I don't think they cleaned anything in the last seven years. <sighs> I don't, I don't want to carry on. I want to sleep. I want to sleep. This is how content I am. I just hear the jacuzzi running in the back. Okay. 
Oh man, this is the life. <laughs> I don't even know what we're doing now. What are we supposed to do now? This is what keeps the electricity on. Piece of paper. I forgot about the toilet. Just look at the toilet again, man. Oh, come on. But anyways, right now we're very hungry. So we're going to go get some food. Don't know where we're going, but we'll find somewhere. Face Allah, I hope you're having fun right now because I'm not. How wide this bed is, bruv. It's so big, like, I need, I need to share it. I can't have all this myself, I feel selfish. Everyone knows what this is, like, majority of people, when you see this product, you're like, okay, I know what this is. This is a fridge. It cools stuff down. All right, we're opening this. This is a decoration fridge. Why does it have skid marks all over it? Bro, what is this? I've seen colder outfits. It's not doing its job. It doesn't feel cold in there. This is what it looks like when you don't brush your teeth for a prolonged amount of time and all you eat is cashews and Doritos. So, I've relaxed a bit. I've chilled, taken a breather. But I've just been told now we have a reservation at a very special restaurant in Sharm el -Sheikh. Get to the reservation on time. Get a nice, hefty meal in our belly so that we can weigh ourselves after. <sighs> Try to find like different food spots. Kind of the options here, they're not looking that great. There's this Viking club, that's closed. There's a few more spots there, they're closed as well. All right, come on, come on. We're late, we're late, we're late. Glasses check. Uh, yeah, good. So I think for tonight, all we're gonna have is piss stained floors with mold in the bathroom and a bottle of water. We've barely had any sleep and now we're gonna have even less sleep because I heard when you sleep in these kind of places, you get negative sleep. Usually you get five hours, six hours. This is gonna be minus five hours. Back to our Dagestani prison we go. All right, evidently we've arrived. This is called Farsha. I, I, I don't know what to expect. I'm seeing a lot of lights. Very intimate, very chill place. Guys, you want to follow me? Because <laughs> I don't know where we're going either. I've seen a little kitten, bro. Hello. Hey, hi. Oh, wait, are they going to be dirty or not? I don't care, man. Come here. Look how cute she is. Oh. Anyways, got a little corner shop here. This is where we're gonna get our food because we couldn't find any other food spots. Okay, so they said it was a restaurant, but it feels like a resort. Oh my, what is this? Paris of the Caribbean? What the hell is this place, bro? I feel intimidated. Bro, have you ever seen a bottle? This this has got to be four liters, bro. Look how warm this is. <laughs> Bigger than my head. 2.43 liters. Anyways, let's see if we could get some snacks in there since we can't get any food. You know those scenes in the movies where they go to like the, the scary clan and they're about to eat them? Yeah, that's what it feels like. Am I here to eat or take part in dark arts? Alright, so we've got the chips. The brand is called Shibbers, which is how you say chips in Egyptian. So it's not walkers, it's not lays, it's just chips. I thought I was going to feel welcomed, I just feel intimidated. Guys, I would not be surprised if I turned around and I saw a ghost. You need to hold this, you have to hold like this. You have to say, uh, it's called Shibbers. One, two, three, four. Shibbers. Okay, what is Nan Telaza? Shivers, that's what we're having for dinner. Where the hell are we going, bro? Whoa. Evidently very comfy. First impressions, just off the dome, very loud. Let's see what we got in here. Shall I just get one of these? Okay, so this paired with this, and I might just get a little Kit Kat as well. That's dinner for tonight sorted. My head is already pounded. Now the music, the sound waves are going on my head. Some people here are loving it. I'm not really a big fan. I might need to get some Egyptian paracetamol. Should I say paracetamol? <laughs> Still haven't seen the menu. I don't know if the only thing they serve is shisha, shisha coals, or shisha smoke. He said, no. don't film him. Oh, so rock. I'm going to go to the Oh, he said, actually, film him. Which happy to saw Did we take a picture together? Hold on, hold on. So, out of my orders, the drink that I chose for the night is a mango topped with orange and strawberry. It's a YouTube. Nam. Yep, yep. You have to subscribe. So, I can hear myself just playing on the speakers right now. That is beautiful. Not quite up to hotel mango scratch, but still amazing. Waiting for the rest of our authentic Egyptian food to come. Let's watch it together. Is the video good? Oh, is it a good video? You have to say good video. Good video. Shukran. Thank you, thank good you. Video. Say subscribe. Good video. No, no, no. Subscribe, subscribe. We, we, we changed the lines now. <laughs> that is the best shout I ever got in my life. I don't know 50% of what he said, but it's, it's a great shout out. Shukran, Mahmoud. Habibi, Habibi. Salam, Salam alaikum. Swift seat implant change and our food has arrived. Look at that. Authentic Egyptian. You think it's koshari? I am. I'm mistaken for koshari as well. Authentic Egyptian cuisine. Have a look at that. Fried chicken. Let's dig into this. Mmm. It tastes like two's in common. Okay, we're back now. Back to our Dagestani prison. My mood was lifted a bit more when I was outside because I wasn't in here. We need to actually sleep because we need to be up at 7 a.m. I don't know what the sleeping situation is going to be like. I don't even want to wear anything else. I just want to wear, I don't even want to take off my shoes because I feel like something will happen to my feet. These are the sheets that they've provided. I'm just scared what might be on this stuff. I'm scared if I like open it, there's going to be a mosquito nest. Try to get some sleep, wake up and see what tomorrow brings. Hopefully there's going to be more positivity and less of this. Look at this plate. So I didn't even show you this before. Look at this plate. They want me to eat on this. Why does it have a bogey on it? Why does the plate have a bogey on it? I also found 
found out that this place cost 12 pounds a night but yeah man hope you have a good night and we'll see you tomorrow okay that's meal over i'm full now we're gonna go back to the hotel get a nice nice deep sleep because apparently i have a big day plan ahead for me tomorrow That was not a good night's sleep. It's eight in the morning right now. As you can see, I'm still wearing the same stuff that I wore yesterday because I wanted to have as much protection as possible from these sheets. And rightfully so, because I can't lie right now, the edges of my eyes all feel like they're burning. I don't know what kind of STD I got from just sitting in here. This was not a good night's sleep. Plus, I'm supposed to be in Egypt. Why was I cold the whole night? I've just woken up and I have a sore throat. I feel ill. Why do I feel ill? Good morning everyone. I just come out for the best sleep of my life. It's time to indulge in a view. Look at this amazing view. Wow man, it's surreal right? The only thing that's making me not annoyed right now is that the weather looks decent outside. Other than that, didn't really sleep well. It's cold the whole night, I feel sick. I feel burning sensation around my eyes. That shouldn't be normal. On top of that, can't even shower. The guy didn't even give us towels. We don't have towels. Not that I would have touched them. Be everything's so white, it's just reflecting off my eyes. This is the life guys. Anyway, I'm absolutely starving Marvin. We're gonna go down to the breakfast buffet. All inclusive, so I'm digging in this morning. I wonder what I'm gonna eating. Probably camel thigh. I don't know. We're gonna get some breakfast and we're gonna get started with our first activity and I still don't know what it is. It's finally made it. The breakfast slash restaurant place. Everything's very soothing. The music is, is almost putting me to sleep. If I wasn't so hungry, I'd go to sleep by the pool. Such a lovely atmosphere. Let's get started with our day. First order of business is lock this door because all of our stuff is still inside and I feel like this is the place where you could get wrong. I'm gonna lock it 500 times. The key doesn't even work. Like you need to just pull it out a little bit. Like you need to jiggle it around. Give it some kind of, there we go. There we go. I wanna check out upstairs. What if there's like a nice little rooftop bar? Of course, just standard washing machine of blocking the whole staircase. Look, here's the rooftop. Oh my God, it's bright. My God, this is my first time seeing Egypt in the light. Oh my days, I can't even open my eyes. Bro, this place is a desert. I saw a fact here, it was like, Egypt is 95% desert. Bro, I think the sun in Egypt is different. This is why they have pyramids. This is too bright. Okay, so first order of business, we're gonna go and we're gonna go relax by the pool. Oh look, we got a chair here in case you wanted to sit down and relax as well. You can sit here and enjoy the view. Just like that. Why do chairs have four legs? This is fine, look. Three is okay. We could have saved a lot more wood. But yeah, let's go and relax by the pool. I went the wrong way. Oh, the stupid washing machine. Skip, skip. So as you can see, my plate's empty right now. I was looking for the fish. I want some salami as well, but I don't know what to pair it with. Might have to get some bread. So I know Face has guest right now. He's probably having a fun time. Probably got nice swimming pools. You got a nice view right now. But do you have access to these sort of facilities? Pretty sure you don't have access to this mate. We're gonna ride this to the pool. We're gonna have a fun time there together. Oh look, and we've reached the pool now. Look, it's even got a little parking thing. That is how you park your bike. So much to pick from. I feel spoiled. Let me go with this cheese. And I forgot actually to get smoked salmon. All nice and parked up. I just realized there's like one sunbed and it's taken up by one of the workers. Hello. Hello. You having a good day? Oh, okay. Kursi, no, me and you, we sit down. I don't, I don't want to take your seat. Have a good day. Is this no. the best hotel area here? Hadul Hotels, Aston Hotel. Yeah. So I asked him if these are the best hotels and he said, yeah, seems like a friendly, nice man, but he just lied to me. Okay, so we lie down here? Yes. Sleep. You want some water? Oh, hummus, tartar sauce, oriental sauce. Just say hummus, bro. And maybe some veg. Complimentary drink from the hotel. I bought this with my own money. With my, what should I speak? Abu Ali from my friend. You having a good time? Yes. This is my friend Abu Ali that says yes to everything, including is this hotel a good hotel? Oh, Abu Ali? <laughs> Salam alaikum. I might get some cereal. Oats with dry fruit. Put it on the same plate. Why not? The buffet, bruv. No one cares. Now my oats are touching my salmon. I don't know how this is going to turn out. We had a nice little sunbathing experience and we're going to be leaving now. We need to get some breakfast. We're going to get some food. This place doesn't even look too bad. I can't lie. Look, I feel like I'm on Faisal's holiday right now. That is refreshing, man. I can't lie, I would be more willing to shower in this than upstairs in that place. My mood has elevated a little bit because I've left that Soviet prison. Water, Sprite, or Fanta? I'm gonna go with the water. 
Because look, it's the River Nile. We can go fishing later, maybe. This is in case you want to have a barbecue. Barbecue sorted out there. In case you have kids and you want them to die, you put them inside that stroller. Imagine you have like a two-year-old or one-year-old and you put them in there. They're going to be dead within four and a half minutes. Oh, they got an ironing board. and good for that. Because my main concern right now is ironing my clothes, not dying of chlamydia inside that bedroom. What's this? I'm going to go this way now. Right now, find a place to sit and I'm going to eat. What are you trying to tell me? Like, what's the story? Me, don't ever come to this place again. Oh yeah, this was a bad decision coming to this hotel. Yeah, I agree as well. Okay, lovely. You take care. Right, have a good day, man. Oh, she's following me. What's going on? Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Made a new friend. Oh, she's per. Oh, he's purring. I don't know if he's a he or a she. Who's mate? Gender, please. Don't wanna misgender the cat. Oh, that is a male. Yeah, that's 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 a male. Bye, boss. Oh, sorry, I don't have food. I don't even have food for myself. I'm sorry. Time to tuck in. I'm gonna start with something with the bread. Get it wide open. I'm just gonna stuff it now. I might be breaking a few Egyptian laws here. It doesn't feel like what I'm doing is right. I don't care. It's my all-inclusive, like, <laughs> who's gonna stop me? Another issue, I can't lie, this one was my fault. I forgot to get a toothbrush. Gonna go buy one here and then just brush my teeth somewhere. So I've just basically made my own breakfast sandwich with hummus, salami, and now I'm about to add cheese. I have a toothbrush. Uh, I have a toothpaste. Majun al fum. Toothpaste acquired. Brushing teeth is next. That is so tasty. I haven't even finished it and I want around two. Okay, on our way now to get breakfast. This place looks beautiful during the day. This is a beautiful city and I want to come here again and experience it properly because right now I feel sick. Outsides of my eyes are still burning. I don't know what kind of disease I'm getting. I think I'm going to turn into an Avenger and get laser eyes. I can't even imagine what it's going to be like to switch POVs with me and my brother. Hold. So this is where we are right now. Still don't know what our activity is supposed to be, what we're supposed to be doing. Um, we've just been dropped off in the middle of, I don't know, it just seems like a little town center. And I'm assuming our activity is just do whatever you want. I'm gonna wait for that truck to go past and then I'm gonna disappear with it. All right, concern it. Did it look like I disappeared? Guys, I was telling the other guys, I missed the UK already. What did I go and do? Got myself a big, brumptious English breakfast or the substitute, the Egyptian substitute. Let's start off with the scrambled eggs. Then we've got the beans. There's beans and then there's lubia. This is lubia. Look at the size of them, bro. Almost as big as the flipping. All right, not really, but this is big. <sighs> Premium grade toothbrush. Premium grade toothpaste. There's a dog behind me. All right, man. I don't like dogs. Why did you tell me so late? This guy told me when the dog was flipping next to my shoulder. Wow, it's whitening as well. That's quite good. Hopefully we can use this on the flipping fridge inside that hotel. Next up, we have sausages, beef sausages. We got a hash brown that looks like Africa. Look at that. And then we got this, which is supposed to be bacon, but looks like I just went hunting. And um, let's tuck in. <coughs> Bro, this is just beans and ketchup. It's not beans. What the hell? Ugh. All right, so cameraman's being questioned. Have you? Have you? <laughs> yeah, name William. William? Your name's not William, brother. I am from Nubian. Okay. Not Arabic. Brother, sorry, I have okay, this I in my mouth. Close that. your eyes, close your eyes. Go out. All right, that's dead. Eggs are good. Now let's try the sausages. Not too bad. We've got the coral reef hash brown. Bro. And then we've got the bacon. It's alright, I don't know what I was expecting. I don't know why I had high hopes for it. Oh, this is like the last milliliters of water I have. Rinse my mouth as well. And there we go. That's brushing my teeth done. We're gonna get some breakfast. We're gonna go explore this local market a little bit. La la la. <laughs> you look so excited to put us in a taxi. Never seen someone excited to put you in the back of the car like that before. Except pedophile. For the beverage, this is supposed to be orange juice. It's just orange water. Unfiltered water. Too much sand got in the pipe and they poured it out. That's what it is. Wow, that is poor. The worst orange juice I ever drank, if you can even call it that. Okay, so what's going on there? Why is that the name of the shop? That's why they have a police station right opposite us, because the ISIS is right there. That's their headquarters. Most of the shops seem to be closed right now. I don't know where we're going to be getting breakfast. See, I thought we were far from home, but no. Apparently, we got an Asda there. We got brilliant bazaar, not to be confused with average or okay bazaar. Wow. Leaving the mosque, we're going to get some breakfast now. I actually don't know where we're getting breakfast from, because everything looks closed. Look, this is one of the other entrances to the mosque. Look how grand it is. So beautiful. And you see on my right there, just a bunch of people. Cool, mate. I feel like it's a catwalk, bro. Overall, I rate this breakfast. I mean, I made it, so I can't really bash myself too much. I'm gonna give it a four out of ten, just based on the ingredients. I'm not the biggest fan, but I can't complain because what is my brother eating? Assalamualaikum. Hey, where can I eat? Okay, that way. So you said go that way and then go that way. What's this, man? Jamal. Nice to meet you, Jamal. We're being escorted to a breakfast location. I said escorted, bro. The guy's just showing us directions. My trip is about luxury, it's about relaxation. So I'm about to go find out what my next relaxation activity of the day is. All right, the alarm's going to go off. 
all of that security and it's still got ISIS in the back. I wonder what Faisal's doing right now. Hey, <laughs> Alec. All right, so still trying to figure out what I'm here for. All I know is I need to be here by 11. Outside of the same med spa. So it's either doctor's appointment or a spa. So I'm thinking maybe massage, sauna. Just gonna have to wait and see for now. It's very far. No, Rahman Mout. They got apple chairs. That's the eye chair. Oh, look, we can go on a camel. Let's see if we can go on this. Oh, that is tall, bruv. This is proper high up. Right, let's see if we can get up here. <laughs> wow, what an experience. Go faster, go faster. Come on. Well, I can see the whole of Egypt from right from here. The pyramids are about 8,000 kilometers that way, but I can still see them. That's how high up I am. Bro, how do I get down from here? So close to finding out what it is. Smelling aromatics. Oh, uh, spoilers. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> there might be a hint as to what's happening next for me. Oh, they have a little bouncy castle. Should we play in here? This is fun. Look, boss, we found a little ball pit as well. Look, we can play together, guys. There you go. Can we go on this? Okay, yeah, that is ripped. How does this work? Bro, this feels so broken. Faisal, I hope you're enjoying your holiday as much as I am. You might have spent more, but I'm having more fun. See, they got some swans, artificial swans. Look, contactless jacuzzi. Ding. Okay, let's try to go as fast as possible. Bro, this feels like it's gonna fly off. Morning workout done. We managed to get a workout and at the same time have a fun, thrilling roller coaster experience here in one of Egypt's biggest theme parks. My socks got taken off. I'm not used to being handled like this. So, why have they put the elephant here? So, now there's going to be a little kid playing on this. They're going to smack their head on this block of wood and probably die. My days. Okay, my feet are being pressed into the. Oh, my toe just clicked. Bro, look at this. This is so ugly. Everything here is broken. Look continuing our breakfast venture come on all right so we're here at this restaurant right now yeah he is just standing here he said he needs to go now but he's just standing so it feels very awkward right now so i'm gonna stand in silence as well i'm gonna see how awkward this can get my shins are screaming right now i think this is exposure therapy it's not meant to make you feel relaxed it's meant to prepare you for the for the cold harsh world it hurts and my lungs are getting pressed and my rib cage is about to pop out. My back just got cracked. After this, I don't know how much there's going to be left of me. I'll see you on the other side. In the restaurant right now. Let's have a look at their menu. Should we get some authentic like Egyptian food? Double pastrami eggs. That does not sound Egyptian. Where's the Tutankhamun omelette? Okay guys and girls, that's massage done. I'm so tired right now, I'm so relaxed. I could go to sleep in these bushes. Listen, that was the most relaxing, luxurious experience of my life. I can't wait to do it again. Should I, should I say my actual thoughts? I was sold friggin' dreams. I thought I was gonna come out of that feeling nice and refreshed, my muscles relaxed. Instead, I felt as though I came out of a torture chamber. I'm gonna go for some baba ghanoush. Sounds very Arabic. Gonna get the baba ghanoush, some eggs and sausage bean. Egyptian corner, sausage bean. Yeah, this is the sausage bean french fries here. Let's dig into this. Egg on our fork, some sausage, some beans. You know what? This is decent. The, the beans egg, are better. Nice. This is lovely. All right, so after my massage, I've been feeling relaxed. It's soaking in. I feel like part of me belongs here. I love this place. Like, I didn't know what to expect from Egypt, of Egypt, but I'm sold. You guys, Egypt, Sharm Sheikh, you have, you've absolutely sold me. You, you, you rocked my world. All right, uh, we finished most of our food. The total came up to like £4.50. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a quick dip in the pool and then back at my room, I've got a jacuzzi waiting for me. It's only up from here, guys. All right, as you can see, we're going back to our guy, William's shop. We know that he's used to a lot of people when he's trying to get them to come inside the shop. He's used to people saying, oh, we'll come back later. He must have thought we were lying because we were gone for a while, but we're going to go surprise him now, get some souvenirs of him. Hopefully he's, he's as excited to see me as I am to see him, even though I'm not that excited to see him because he's just going to take my money for a sphinx. I wonder what my brother's doing. Probably, I don't know, probably doing manual labor, so I'm paid manual labor. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. I'm, I'm chilling. I'm having fun. William. Hello, boss. Yeah, I told you I'll come back. Okay, this doesn't look very Egyptian to me. I'm in Egypt right now. I'm flipping New York, all right? Get me a mummy. And nothing has a price tag on it. Do you know why? Because the price tag comes from his brain. After he scans you, he's gonna see, okay, this guy's wearing this, this, this. What is the cheapest item in this shop? Is there anything for free? <laughs> all right, so I just took a quick dip in the pool. I'm feeling relaxed. I'm feeling comfortable. I'm in a jacuzzi right now. <laughs> and to ask you a question, no, this isn't outside in the private section. This is in my very own room. Oh, look at this. William, can I put this on? Can I wear this? Yes, I want to see if I look Egyptian or not. Do I look Egyptian? A little bit. Little bit. Bro, I don't look Egyptian, man. Should I wear this as well? Oh, I'm going to wear the whole fit. Bro. I just need a sword and I'm ready to fight a sphinx. So ask someone if I look good. Like, guys, I don't think you're deep in this. I've got a jacuzzi in my room and I can just step out and have a nap. Because, like, it. please. I feel so at home. Like, Egypt, like I said before, you rocked my world. I'm coming back for sure. Salam. Taxi. 
Taxi, what's your shop? What do you sell? I sell spices, herbs, fair from. I'm gonna get your customer. customer. Hello, boss. What are you looking for? We have spices, we have lights, incense. Let's go, let's go inside the shop. Come on, what's your name? Furka. Furka, nice it's to meet you. Thank you, Egypt. I can't say the same about my brother, but thank you, Egypt, for this experience. This has been amazing. I've been I've been pampered. I've never been pampered before. I've been pampered today and yesterday. I'm having the time of my life. This is um, authentic from Egypt. This one is, how much is this one again? That one, five dollars. This one's five dollars, but for you, Mac, I mean, good press. $5. This is the life that I'm meant for. It's in my blood now. I'm keeping this forever. You see the bracelet for the hotel? This is part of me now. I'm gonna go give William back his stuff because I'm pretty sure he thinks we ran away with it. Don't worry, I didn't steal your stuff. You know what? Faisal, I'm gonna get you a gift because why am I getting him a gift? There's no, no, I'm not getting you a gift. I'm joking, I'll get you something. Well, I can just get the little Aladdin bottle. Go like this and then you can wish for a better holiday. I'm just gonna relax here for my last few hours. Just take it in, let the jacuzzi soak. Do I wanna leave? Do I wanna extend? Yes, I wanna extend. This is too good to let go. All right, cool, so I'm gonna get a pyramid now and gift it to Faisal. But I don't know which color to go for. So you guys let me know in the comments what color I should pick. Oh, black and gold, okay. Thank you to everyone that responded black and gold. This one. Take it three. One for present. For friend, brother, present. Maybe you come to back if you need something more, I give you more discount. Shukri I told you, this is good shop. I give also Jack a little bottle present. I have this one, Egypt, Sharm Sheikh. Egypt, okay, Jack. Take care. That's very sweet of him, I can't lie. Egyptian people, lovely people, man. I'm Zen. I know you're watching this. I know you're seeing me relaxing, chilling. I wonder how you feel right now. I wonder if you're not dead. I just hope you're alive. And when I finally meet you, we're going to see the difference between someone who's been treated like a king this holiday and someone who's been treated like a loser for losing the world record challenge. I'll see you soon. On our way, pick up Faisal from his hotel. Thank you. Hey boss. Oi. What's your best skill? Yeah? Oi. Bye bye Ali. High five, high five. Take care. Going back to the hotel. The way I'm going to quickly go inside and leave. Back at this piss hole one last time. And I don't even mean piss hole in like the insulting sense. It literally smells like a hole filled with piss. Bro, it's just, come on man. Bro, I'm not even joking, it's not working. Oh. But why am I standing here? Okay, getting our stuff and leaving. And that's it, we're cutting now, finally. We're, nah, making that's it. It. we're, we're done, done, we're gonna go meet face off. Let me give my review of my holiday. I'm gonna give the place that we stayed. What's below minus 500 stars? Regardless, the people of Egypt, can't lie, they've been good vibes, accommodating. They've just been happy, like, and I came out of this with a free pyramid. There's people that travel to Cairo, they're spending hundreds of pounds, they're getting tour guides, see the pyramids, I got one for free. Who's the real winner here? Oh well, yeah, on our way to go see face off. We're here at Faisal's location right now, White Hills Resort in Sharm el Sheikh. I have to wait for him to come outside because apparently I'm not allowed inside, so I'm being treated like a peasant. We're gonna see if there's anything else to do around the area. As you can see, this is a very drastic guys. difference compared to what I had to go through. Look, bro, look, I have flipping paddle, a paddle tennis court. Bro, look how nice this is. Look, the grass is greener on the other side. We've just left the resort. I just checked out. What a lovely, amazing experience. I can't stress to you how relaxed I feel, how pampered I feel, really. I think pampered is the best word for it. I'm going to see where Amzian is because we had to come out to meet him. Oh, look at this, man. I want to play some tennis. Bro, this is lovely. I feel rich. I can actually get a nice sleep here. I don't think they allow broke, poor, dirty, filthy peasants within the perimeter of this lovely, beautiful White Hills resort. Is this where the security sits? This in itself is bare nice. Looks like a little gateway to heaven. I just want to sit here and just chill. This is cleaner than our fridge. So I'm going to come out to meet him. I don't know where he is. I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know. I don't know if he's alive. <laughs> I don't know if they brought him to me dead. But yeah, going to go meet him, see where he's at. And we'll discuss from there. But I want to play a sport, bro, everyone. Let me practice my hurdling. Okay, that's doable. Now, no steps. I'm going to fall on my head, innit? Bro, I, I don't think I can do it. This is quite high. I don't think I can do it. Okay, we'll look. There. That was so fun. <laughs> my hands are dirty. You see, I didn't even want to touch his hands because I felt like my hands were dirty. Bro, and he just looks bare clean. Look at him, he's got he's it. He's a peasant. Did said, you get pampered? Like, what, what happened? That's literally exactly what happened. Right? Oh. I had a massage. said, if your name is Amazian, don't come here. Don't okay, well, I met William, so I win. I met Muhammad and Mustafa. Everyone's called Muhammad, Muhammad, so that doesn't count. Muhammad, Muhammad, Ahmed, Mahmoud, Mohamudi. I lived the life today. I'll tell you that now. I had a massage, I had a jacuzzi. Did you do a jacuzzi? Yeah. In my room. You know I had a jacuzzi in my room as well. It was the bathroom and when you turn on the sink, it starts leaking from the bottom. It becomes jacuzzi bubbles. I had a jacuzzi in my room. I had the pool side. I had a swim pool as well. Really? They had a giant Mickey Mouse head <laughs> on the inside of it. But I had a lovely view of the mountains to the left. I saw the mountains the as well. But you, you were in the mines because <laughs> yeah. you're a peasant. I could look at them from afar. Also, we got you a gift. This is my gift to you. So we finished here in Sharm el Sheikh. Now we're going on to go visit the pyramids. Oh my God, is this a clue for the next adventure. This is actually really nice. He actually gave me this for free. No way. Big up William. We got our car here, ready to go to Cairo. In the next 24 hours, we're going to be trying to attempt one of the most annoying jobs in the world. And we'll see you in the next one. No, no, don't follow me. You go this way. All right.